The other uh, part of this labor issue, of course, uh, that's worth discussing is the immigration uh, situation. And two of your uh, Republican colleagues, governors, uh, Eric Holcomb uh, in Indiana and Spencer Cox in Utah, wrote in a recent op-ed in The Post, uh, quote, we call on Congress to end its two-decade standoff on setting immigration policy. We believe that states should be able to sponsor whatever immigrants serve the needs of their communities. Uh, and that uh, that stance aimed at addressing labor shortfalls in, in those states. Is that something that you would support? Yes, absolutely. Look, I've, I, as I said, I spent 20 years in Congress and uh, we were able to get an immigration bill passed uh, early on in my, my term as a, a, a representative in the U.S. House. Uh, that was in the mid 80s. But since that time, we really have not we've really failed as a country to come up with a rational immigration policy. And what we see, of course, is that the illegal immigration controversy and the complete failure of our, our you know, federal government to stop illegal immigration, it has made it impossible for us to pass any rational legal immigration policy in this country. Um, we, we need to be more hard headed about it in the sense that, you know, somebody who has skills, who wants to come to the United States, who, who, or even if they, you know, uh, depending on the state, if whatever that state is looking for. And I think one of the things about the op-ed piece uh, is they would leave it up to the governors. Governors know what their states need generally. <laughs> they know what their employment situation is. Um, so yeah, I think that, uh, you know, Congress really needs to look at this. And if you want to talk about failures over the last 20, 30 years, a failure to come up with a, a legal immigration policy that makes sense uh, has been, you know, one of those huge, huge failures.